on, everybody? Mitch from Drunk FX, Death Battle, or Screw Attack dropped another battle between this Power Rangers versus Voltron thing. It's going to be like World War VIII or some shit, man. If the Power Rangers lose, I have a feeling people are going to freak out. But normally, I just react mostly to the official Death Battles, you know, fights itself. But this battle's kind of got me amped up. Uh, I love the Power Rangers, love Voltron. I watch both shows. If you guys want to see my prediction, that's a separate video. Go ahead and search it on the channel. I do talk during the videos and react, so commentary and all that's going to happen. You've been warned. Let's get this started. Whoa. Since the beginning of time, evil has oh, waged I war against like... good. The witch Rita Repulsa dreamed of conquering the galaxy with Maybe her army gonna of giant monsters. Maybe they're going to throw my separate monster. videos going However, now. time and time again, she was thwarted by the champion of light, Zordon. Their war oh. lasted for 2,000 years, bringing down entire planets and innocent alien races, <laughs> until finally Rita proposed a truce. However, just when old Zordon thought he was going to get a break, Rita zapped him into a time warp. <laughs> but yeah. before he lost his physical form forever, he managed to lock Rita up in a galactic dumpster. <laughs> yeah, apparently that ancient-looking urn is a space dumpster. But unfortunately, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped and continued her quest for galactic domination. <laughs> and when her trash can prison was opened on Earth's <laughs> moon, it was pretty time clear what planet she would be attacking <laughs> next. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to prepare a foolproof plan. He could summon the five greatest, deadliest, most decorated warriors across the <laughs> galaxy to battle Rita. Taste the rainbow. Teleport to us five overbearing and over emotional humans. No, not that, not teenagers. Somehow, <laughs> some way, this ended up being the best plan ever. Zordon gave these teens the ability to draw power from an alternate dimension called the yeah. Morphin Grid. This molecular transmutation turns them MMA into superheroes and grants them access know. to mighty mechanical Teenagers. beasts called Zords. Oh. Together, they would be the universe's last line of defense against Rita and oh. her monsters. The superhero I also made a movie review of this too. If you guys want to check it out, the Mighty Morphin movie. Power Rangers. Oh. Let's do this. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Saber-toothed Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. Yeah. Go, go, Power Rangers! Quack, 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 quack. Hey, shut up! Jason Don't Lee hate. Scott, the Red Ranger, is a fearless leader what and up? expert martial artist. So obviously, he gets one of the coolest zords of the bunch, a Tyrannosaurus Rex that evaporates baddies with its oh. laser eyes. Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, isn't as socially adept as his cohorts, but he more than makes up for it with his intellect. He loves to work with machines, though right. not are quite as impressive as his Triceratops Zord. With its grappling hook horns, this 140-ton behemoth can stop a foe in its tracks. 140 Billy's tons? Billy's techno babbling Damn. usually goes over everybody's heads, except for Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger. R.I.P. girl. Equal parts brains she died in and a car martial arts specialist, life. she's a threat both outside and inside her speedy saber-toothed tiger zord. And Zack Taylor, the Black Ranger, is a master of his own martial art called Hip Hop Keto, Keto which yeah. blends self-defense with his love of, oh. well, dance. <laughs> it's the first episode right here. This is what it looks like. Yep, this kid fights aliens by busting a groove, <laughs> but also with his Mastodon Zord. While it might be slow, Zack uses its freeze blast to cover his enemies in ice or True. saran wrap. If so that's definitely going to have some pretty good Last moves Last but not there. least, there's Kimberly Ann Hart, the everyone had a crush Ranger, on. <laughs> a smack-talking valley girl who has the skies covered in her pterodactyl zord. In addition to its lightning-esque laser cannons, this machine can fly at two and a half times the speed of sound. Wow. But when five giant well, there you go. monsters aren't enough to stop so the that thing guys, can move. the zords can do oh, just the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life. Megazord power. Oh. <laughs> oh. Megazord secret activated, bitches. And I could watch that over and over. <laughs> right? In fact, I'm gonna. Wait, no, Boosie, don't yes, push that yes, button. Do it, do it. Yes. And done. And now it's gonna loop for 10 hours at least. Come back next Damn. week as we examine the Rangers' opponents, the Voltron Lion Force. All right. So that definitely gave us some more light on uh, the pterodactyl. Like, that speed is pretty damn impressive. So she actually will be able to kind of. Uh, 
help with the with those wolf, those lions, but those lions are gonna outnumber her. I just can't see. Oh man, I'm just so torn between this. I love both of these videos, um, or both of these these teams. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to Screw Tacky guys. If you want, if you want to support them, go to their website, sign up, become kind of like a Patreon, their type of thing. It's called like a Rooster Teeth uh, member. You get early access to a lot of their videos and some videos that we never even seen here on YouTube. It's only like two or three dollars a month. You can even watch Death Battle like three days before we even see it on YouTube. So that's something to think about. And if you like me and I'm your cup of tea, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But if not, it's cool, man. Go find your cup of tea. It's out there. So this is Mitch from Drunk FX. And I'm out.